to celebrate two amazing people becoming one in marriage. I've known Brandon for over 10 years, and I've known Abby for the past few years as they've gotten to know each other, date, and grow in their relationship. I'm currently their roommate, so I know very well. I love both these people very much. They're two incredible people, and I'm honored to be here. Uh, Brandon and Abby have known each other since high school. This story starts when they ran into each other at a Giants game. According to B, that's the first time things started to change. Started to see Abby a little bit different. About three months after this, Brandon direct messaged Abby saying, hey, I think I saw you. For all the guys out there, we know he didn't see her. But, <laughs> but it was a good move. And a few weeks later, Brandon asked her out and they went out for food. And this time they weren't sure they'd known each other. They weren't sure if it was friends hanging out. They weren't really sure where they stood. But by the second date, that's when the chemistry and everything was just cranking. So about this time, Brandon was getting ready to go off to Navy boot camp. It was not in his program or his idea to fall head over heels for a girl, and vice versa, Abby was not trying to fall head over heels for a man as he's about to go away to boot camp. So as they kind of explained this to each other and Brandon opened up to Abby about it, Abby was so supportive and so amazed by Brandon's passion and commitment to what he wanted to do that it floored Brandon. His expectation was something very different, and his response to it was he wanted to find something to do something special for her. And Abby's favorite flower is peonies. Brandon had to find them because they weren't in bloom. And so he brought Abby peonies just to thank her for, for really blowing his mind and resetting what he thought was really going to take place. That's when Abby told me that's when she first decided, okay, uh-oh, uh-oh. After this time, Brandon took off for a nine-week boot camp. A lot of other couples, I think, would have grown apart and separated. But these two, they grew tighter. They grew closer. They became closer with each other's families. Brandon was writing handwritten letters to Abby's dad. Abby was hanging out with the Sweeney's. That's special. That's awesome. Jill and I have two daughters. As a father, I hope they would find someone as least as good looking as I am. But B, Spencer, the bar is just too damn high. Second, I wanted someone who loved my daughters unconditionally and put their welfare above all else. And B set that tone in that first letter that he wrote me. Uh, in a phone call on Memorial Day last year, I was talking to B and I was thanking him uh, for his service. And his response was, it's not only me serving, but Abby and our families are serving as well. And that is so true. I have never looked at the American flag the same way since.
since the day you walked back into my life, it has changed for the better. Falling for you wasn't falling at all. It was like walking into a house and knowing your home. I love you. I love how you still give me butterflies every time I see you. I admire how hard you work to serve others. And above all, I love how you love me. You have taught me to face all challenges head on with confidence. You remind me of my strengths and bring out the very best in me. And that's why we are here today. These past few years have been a challenge. The Navy demands sacrifice and loyalty beyond what is expected in most relationships. Together we have met this challenge and our bond is stronger because of it. You have chosen to serve others and sacrifice what to some is a normal life. You did this to protect and serve our beautiful country. I feel a part of that as well, and I'm so proud of the man you are and the couple we've become. I promise to be true to you, to uplift and support you, to frustrate and challenge you, <laughs> and to share with you all the beautiful moments of life. Whatever challenges we may face, we will always work as a team. I will love you always with every beat of my heart. Abigail, we've come a long way since Monta Vista High School. Those days may be gone, but one thing has always remained the same. We have a good time together. Which is no surprise why our love took off after a few Irish coffees at Buena Vista. After th that day in SF, we officially started dating on December 11th, 2017, and I have been thinking about this moment since then. I've pictured you walking down the aisle for the past two years, two months, and seven days. And I've thought about saying I do for the past 799 days. This is the best moment of my life, and it's because of you. You made this happen. You have given me a love that I never thought was possible in my life. You brought me peace and purpose. Your actions define love in every way. You are the most beautiful and selfless person I know. You are my best friend. You sacrifice your life for me and my dreams. Standing here today, I can tell you that my dream is you and it has come true. Our love has faced challenges, setbacks, and disappointments. But it always prevailed, always endured, always won. I vow to always love you more. More than yesterday, more than the bad days ahead of us, more than the distance between us or the time we spend apart, I will always love you the most. So by the power vested in me by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, State of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kiss your bride. Now for the first time, I get to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Brandon Swain. but I know that it's supposed to bring out the best in someone. And Brandon, I can genuinely tell you that you bring out the best in Abby. And we're all very, very thankful for that. I mean, it was like wildfire when he met Abby. I mean, it was after two dates, he was more in love with her than some people are in 10 years. I have no words. You're the sister-in-law that I dreamed of. It has been the great privilege of my life to be your sister. I can't ever get enough time with you. But I have to share you with somebody. It better be Abby. So I'm going to leave you with this. There are good ships and wood ships. Ships that sail the sea. But the best ships are friendships. And may they always be. So cheers to the newlyweds. We wish you both all the happiness this life has to offer. 